Hey everyone, this is Nick with Gold Coast Flooring and today I'm going to bring you along a carpet stretch job I'm doing in Sacramento. Right away here you can see I already pulled some of the carpet off of the tack strip. That way I can go ahead and start making my first stretch. Now this stretch is important because there was a wrinkle right where the bedroom meets the hallway so I have to pull up the whole area by the door and get that one wrinkle out. The way this room is set up with the different cutouts means I'll have to treat it like two separate rooms and stretch in opposite directions. That way I can get the best stretch possible. So the way stretching works is you want to pull most of the carpet off the tack strip, kind of like a U, keeping one side fully attached. Then you can stretch everything forward, tuck one side and then stretch the last side over and tuck it in. Here you can see because the closet has a built-in shelf and too many cutouts, I decided to do a seam at the doorway to make it easier. So now that the first stretch is done, I can go ahead and tuck the carpet in on this side. Make sure to hold the carpet down with your hand or a knee kicker so the carpet doesn't bubble up. Now this baseboard had grooves in it, so I had to be very careful and take my time tucking the carpet in so I didn't damage the base. So instead of packing it in normally, you kind of have to work it in like using a side to side motion. Here I'm doing the carpet to laminate transition and most of the time they install the tack strip to the laminate and then they put the transition molding over it making it kind of tricky to repair. So I like to make slits every few inches and then connect the dots so to say and back cut the carpet before tucking it back in. After the carpet's been trimmed, I use my hatchet because the edge is thinner than my stair tool, but there are many different tools you can use like a, a vinyl knife or chisel. I'll mash the carpet straight down and then go at an angle, basically trying to push the carpet under the molding using a side to side motion. Of course, it's easier to do this using two hands. In areas where it's hard to reach or it's very tight, I'll just use my carpet blade, but this is where a vinyl knife would come in handy. Now I'm where I cut the carpet at the closet doorway. This job is upstairs, so after stretching, I'm able to stay nail the carpet, meaning I can hammer nails into the carpet to hold it while I do the seam, and then remove them after I'm done and the seam is cooled. Now this is the last stretch of this room, and the way this room is designed, I couldn't get a good angle on the last stretch, so there's a little bubble here. I'm going to show you how to use a knee kicker to get that out. I actually learned this by watching Floors by Southern Boys. Power stretchers have a part on the head you can kick with a knee kicker for these exact situations. Now that little bubble is gone. So now that most of the stretch is done, all that's left to do is stretch the last side and tuck the carpet in. But you can see I'm not getting a lot of stretch here, so honestly you should be fine just tucking this side in without stretching. Now I'm taking care of the other part of this L-shaped room, treating this like its own separate room. I'm stretching just like I did before, making my way from left to right. These cutouts make it more time consuming, but the process is the same. So 
So making my seam, I just use my steam iron, but you can use a carpet iron and seam her down now. So here's after everything is power stretched and tucked in. After stretching, there will sometimes still be a mark where the ripple was, but the carpet is flat. This is like crumpling up a piece of paper for a few years and then flattening it out. The marks will disappear, but it takes time and foot traffic. Having the carpets clean will definitely help too. So I hope this video was helpful for any carpet cleaners or installers out there that know some of these things but maybe still picked up a useful tip or two. If you don't know anything about carpet and you have this issue in your home, don't worry, I stretch carpet every week and most people don't even know it can be fixed. Hopefully this helped you understand the process of carpet stretching and how this repair is properly done. Thanks again everyone for watching. Like this video if you thought it was helpful and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.